In this video, let us learn how we can programmatically create S3 bucket using Python. First of all, let's let me show you my S3 buckets. I'm refreshing it, and we can see that there are four buckets right now. Let me go to Jupyter now, and for this we have to import two libraries. First is Boto3, and from botocore.client we have to import client error. So just import these. If you get any errors while importing, please put in the comments. Then in the next part, we have to create a S3 client. For that, we have to take a client module from Boto3 and then mention the first argument as S3 since we will be using S3 resource from AWS. Second argument is AWS access key ID. Here we have to provide access key ID. And third argument is the AWS secret access key. So both of these access key ID and secret access key can be taken from the user spreadsheet that gets downloaded for the credentials i can show you how it look how it looks like so this is my username and this is the spreadsheet when you got you get when you create a new user on aws iam if you want to see how to create a new user you can watch my other video i will share the link in the description let me go back to jupiter and run it so there is no error in the next section we will write the bucket name which I want to create. So I've written Python learning. Then I have included a try and accept block here. So the AWS S3 client that we have created will now communicate using Python. So we are just checking if this bucket name exists or not in our S3. So for that I'm writing AWS S3 client dot head bucket. So what it does is it checks uh, if it exists or not. If it exists, then it will point to that bucket. So I've written bucket is equal to bucket name. So what is bucket name is, is Python learning. And then if it exists, then it will create a variable by name of bucket exist and it will insert a value. Yes. If the bucket doesn't exist, it will go to accept block and will raise a client error, which will say, which will create a variable by name of bucket exist and has a value. No. And finally it will print the bucket doesn't exist or you don't have the access to it. And the next section is if the bucket doesn't exist or let's run the upper code first. So we uh, came to know that the bucket doesn't exist or we don't have any access. So yes, bucket doesn't exist by name of Python learning. So the final section is to create a new bucket by name of Python learning. So right now bucket exist is equal to no is set we can just confirm so we can add a cell below and write bucket underscore exist so the value is no and now in this block we can check if bucket exist is equal to no then i have included a try and accept block in which this is wrong let me just correct it okay so here we are writing uh, so I want to create this bucket under US East 1 since I prefer to create all the buckets under US East 1. So I have written the location that I want to provide for the for my bucket and then I'm using client which I have created for S3 resource and from it I am using create bucket module in which we have to pass few parameters. First is the bucket name. So bucket name is python learning as we have defined here and second parameter is create bucket configuration so under configuration we have just provided location there can be some additional parameters as well then if the bucket is created it will pass on the message that bucket name has been successfully created on s3 otherwise if it raises any error if it raise client error then it will just print the error and it will write down the message that bucket name cannot be created on s3 or else other than client error if there is any other error it will just print the bucket cannot be created on s3 so let me just run it so it is saying an error record invalid location constraint when calling the create bucket operation the specified location constraint is not valid python learning cannot be created on s3 so which error it raised it raised it has raised uh, invalid location constraint which means it has raised client error right because we have printed it here so now now let us rectify this and let us see how we can create the bucket on s3 so the problem with this is it doesn't accept 
us east one location so uh, if i run it again you will see the same error for it i have to change the location to us east two or maybe us west so let's write us west and we can keep it as one and run it let's see the output uh, okay maybe there is some problem with the bucket name let us ch change the bucket name to python learning maybe one so we can run this again to set the bucket name and so this bucket doesn't exist and now let us try it again so yes uh, it is done so python learning one bucket has been created on aws s3 let's let me go back and check on aws s3 that refresh and yes we can see python learning one bucket is successfully created under us east one the location that we mentioned so this is how we can create aws s3 buckets using python and there are some more exciting tips and tricks that we can perform using python with aws